everyone I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel I'm so glad that you could stop in today I'm doing another plan with me video with my Erin Condren my horizontal planner and again I'm using mine for a little bit of scrapbooking and a little bit of planning and memory keeping and hopefully some motivation and hopefully that picture will kind of help keep me motivated that's a picture of my highest weight at 190 and where I am now the picture on the other page um, and I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with that page yet but again I want some memories and some happy memories so it's a picture of our wedding day so one of the first pictures that I had taken with my husband and then one of the last pictures that uh, someone had taken of us so I really enjoy looking I'm gonna really enjoy looking at that page and later on in another video I'll show you uh, how I ended up finishing that and I'm going to be doing the week of October 28th um, including Halloween to November 3rd and I am using Paper Loving Mommy. It's the kit number 2162 with a Halloween theme. And right now I am uh, whiting out the bottom part of the date because the uh, date stickers don't quite cover that. So I just whited that out. I already put the, uh, the numerical dates on the days of the week. So I'm just attaching that. As you can see, I have a little bit of trouble. And um, along with this kit, I've also got some, a picture of me for Halloween week and a picture of uh, my grandsons, Maddie, Matt, and Jeff in their costumes. And then I've got the Jelly Beans, Tori, Pie, and Aiden. Um, and so I made them a little bit bigger than I have in the past, so it's not going to just fit right into that horizontal square. And I just wanted the pitches to be a little bit bigger. So as you can see later on, I'm going to kind of struggle with trying to fit them in. And the kit that I'm using uh, from Paper Loving Mommy didn't have the uh, washi strip for the, for the top of it. So I'm just using some washi strips that I got from Amazon. And I put that down. I thought it was gold, but it's actually transparent. So when I put it down, you could see that line going right through it. So I ended up taking it off uh, using some of the uh, that whiteout tape and uh, put that over. And again, just I, I put another layer of washi. It's got um, that I also got from Amazon, and that's a little black, maybe a three millimeter strip, and it's got some stars on it. How I ripped it off and it ended up short. I have no idea, but as you can see, I, I just work wonders with an X-Acto knife. It's uh, it's really amazing that you don't get to see me call 911 um, in this uh, video because I just, that knife just keeps rolling no matter what I do with it. And then I'm just going to do that same on that other page. And this one you got to uh, actually see me using the whiteout tape on that. It's probably a different word for that, but that's what I'm using for lack of a better term. And again, so that's, I think it's a five millimeter strip and it's got some, uh, and it was clear with some gold on it and then the uh, little black washi strip that's three millimeter and it's got uh, little tiny gold stars on it so I like that I do like the bigger washi that covers the date but then I need to find date stickers um, that picture of me at the bottom that um, I'm getting ready to put in and then I decided to put more washi on the bottom sorry about that I forgot about that so I did that same thing with those two washi strips on the bottom I didn't put any of the whiteout tape because I tried to go right under that line on the bottom and then I figured what was left the uh, the black washi would cover it and I just think uh, that just kind of helps frame the page and just uh, gets it ready to fill in and over that date column on that bottom strip that's where I put my weight tracker for the week so I'm going to have a uh, just a little icon of me or emoji whatever you want to call it and I've got my weight for Monday and then my weight again for Sunday and last time I had just put them on like some sticker paper this time I just printed it on regular paper and then I'll just kind of use some of that two-sided sticky tape and put that on there and then next in the uh, other column off to the, the far right on those where that I've got my elliptical steps uh, that I keep track of. So it's um, that under desk elliptical that I use at work. So I'm keeping tracks of the uh, steps that I, I take during the day, how many hours I worked on it and how many miles. And, and I just think it's kind of fun to look back and, and see what it, how my, uh, I progress at that. And some days it's, I get a lot more miles in and other days it's like I'm amazed I look down and I'm like holy mackerel I've only got like 5,000 steps and what have I been doing all day and I guess sometimes when you work in there's uh some sometimes if you're just on the phone and you're doing just everyday things it's just easy to kind of keep that pace and pedal 
and then other times when I've got people talking to me or coming in and um, having a conversation with them it's a little bit different and um, so I get a little bit less in or if I'm working on sales graphs and things and I've got numbers going through my head so I can understand how that fluctuates quite a bit so there I've got those pictures that I was talking about that I wanted to make them a little bit bigger and then so I wanted to get them them placed first and I ended up cutting them down quite a bit because I, I just made them a little too big but anyway I just uh, I like the way that they came out there bigger so I can see the kids and I and really enjoy their, their pictures later on when I look at this. So I'm just, again, and I just printed it on regular paper. Maybe at some point I'll get some photograph paper or something, but for now I think I'm just happy, uh, you know, putting it in this planner on just uh, printing with colored ink on regular paper. So I've got that, and I put down my weekend banner from that kit that I'm working on. And I'm just going to put in some of those full boxes that... Um, that came with the kit and it's just a really cute Halloween kit and I'm, I'm really enjoying working working with the kit here like I said I think a lot of these kits are really made for a vertical vertical kit this one it was called the horizontal weekly, weekly sticker kit but I think some of it probably would work better for the uh, vertical kit vertical kit so I'm not sure if I'm going to switch or not and uh, as again, you can see, I just uh, have so much trouble to stick in, in a straight line sometimes. I don't know why. but And sometimes it just doesn't want to stick it too much. But I'm uh, trying to figure out what I have going on. And I didn't really have a lot going on last week. Um, so I knew I didn't have a lot of things to put in. So I knew that I could use the bigger pictures and use all the uh, colored boxes. And then I'm just trying to... Uh, put this in at the bottom just to kind of fill up some of that white space at the bottom As you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble putting it in but I think I'm getting kind of like a system there and then, of course then I wanted to cut some more with a knife and decided to give up on that but um, but so far I'm really liking these these kits so just really fun then I've got my Friday girl, and that's from uh, the Miss Glam Lady D, the Friday Friday Lady, and that's from the Sugary Gal Shop, and she's just, she's just really cute. And then again, just some text from, from the kit that I'm using. And even though sun, Saturday and Sunday that I decided not to go to work, um, I really could have gone to work. I have enough to do, but I am so far behind on YouTube watching uh, other people's videos that I respond to that I. Uh, that I subscribe to and I so I tried to really catch up which I didn't do so great but I did a solid 12 hours both on Saturday and Sunday of just watching other people's videos and responding to them so I felt good that I finally got a chance to do that plus I responded to some of my own on um, my own videos too so I did get a lot of hours in over that the weekend doing that so even though I put lazy day it really wasn't a lazy day it was it was an, it was a fun day and in here I'm just trying to fill in some of the blank spaces and even though those little hearts that I'm using from the kit probably most people are going to use them and then write down different chores or things that they've got to do I'm using them like in between some of the spaces um, just to kind of kind of fill it out to not have so much white Monday I knew I had a couple of things uh, like on Monday I had a Scentsy um, not a Scentsy but I had um, I did. Monday I had to do a Scentsy video that I should have done earlier in the month, but I wanted to wear my Halloween costume and I wanted to show off the October warmer of the month and some of my Halloween warmers. So I ended up doing that Monday night, so ended up recording it and uploading it the same day, so that was fun. I also had to go to the post office and return uh, the clothes that I wasn't keeping from my Stitch Fix box from last week. Um, Tuesday at work, I, I think I, I ended up leaving early. I, I only worked um, maybe 11 hours, and then I came home early and put in like a, another five hours on YouTube watching and responding to videos. So that was really good. Of course, uh, Wednesday, everybody's favorite day of the week is Stupid Trash Day. I don't know why that bothers me. It's just a, I don't have a lot of trash being here alone, and I have to pay for it whether I have them pick something up or not. And... So it's just no fun taking out a half-empty trash barrel that, you know, is probably going to get blown over in the wind and you're going to have to pick it up in the morning. I think that's probably why I don't like it. 
So, um, and one of the other little books that I got, I just wanted to fill in some of those boxes. So I've got the Daylight Savings Time ends that I put on for Sunday the 3rd. I put a little Halloween uh, text script message on a Halloween day. Um, I put a little Live um, live for today and then just uh, just some more stickers just to kind of fill in spaces I tried to pick some motivational stickers to help um, too so when I look at it I'm just kind of looking and just I just want some positive vibes when I look at this book and again here I've, I'm using the washi that actually came from the the kit from Paper Loving Mommy because there were four strips of washi so I'm filling that in on some of the the boxes here just to kind of cover up the uh, the stripes that came on the uh, the Heron Condren planner and I think um, I could have probably used a little bit more washi but I think I did a good job trying to piece it in um, and of course waiting to the end instead of using like a whole strip to go all the way across when you only maybe needed a few pieces here and there and again, I think I, I just really enjoyed having the bigger pictures of my grandchildren in this week. It just gave me a little bit more room. I also, on uh, the box that I'm working on around there, to write about the elliptical, I also put in the uh, the weather stickers that I got. I got those from Planner Kate. And again, I just want to put in just kind of basic weather. So when I'm doing this in advance, even though it, it's a forecast, it might not be perfect that I will be able to uh, plan my wardrobe out for a few days because I hate getting up in the morning. I'm, I usually go to bed about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and I have got to should really be out of bed by, say, 6.30, but I usually get up between 7 and quarter after 7 and I've got to hurry and shower, get my makeup on, get dressed, uh, grab my breakfast, which is my power shake with some uh, keto coffee powder from It Works, and I have to be to work by 8. So... Every now and then I'm a few minutes late, but most of the time I make it. So having my clothes planned out really helps a lot. And again, I, I didn't have enough sticky uh, sticky washi, the washi tape that came in that kit. So again, I'm using that uh, black 3 millimeter tape that I used with the stars on it that I got from Amazon. And I just put that along the top just to kind of keep it well balanced. Then I'm kind of looking around. I got a couple of couple of blank spots that I wanted to fill out, and as you can see, I just I just put in like cleaning day because I did do um, a little bit of cleaning in between watching videos, like just vacuuming stuff like that, build a dishwasher, maybe empty it, and just uh, just some other stickers under the pictures just to kind of fill in the spots. But anyway, I really enjoyed doing this video with you. Um, any comments, please leave below. I am really enjoying uh, learning this process. Um, doing these uh, voiceovers is a little hard because I'm looking at how many time I have left and I just don't want to run out again. But again, I want to thank my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe before you go. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos. I look forward to your comments and any helpful suggestions. Um, and again, I hope everyone goes out, has a fantastic day, and we will chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.